Climate change is coming, and with it rising sea levels that are threatening coastal cities like San Francisco. It's hard to imagine what a few feet of extra water sloshing around will mean, but king tides, the highest tides of the year, give us a glimpse of the soon-to-be new normal. So the king tides are the highest high tides of the year, and as you can see here, when we have a very high tide, it actually overtops a lot of our infrastructure in San Francisco, in Marin County, all along the shoreline of the San Francisco Bay. These tides are a way for us to visualize what the future of sea level rise will be like. King tides are caused by an alignment of the sun and the moon. When the sun and the moon and the earth are all in alignment, the gravitational pull is higher on those tides. Well, right now what we have is, is the king tides that happen every year. They're a little higher than what we get for normal high tides. We have an El Nino effect, which involves warming of water, which makes the water uh, higher elevation as well. And then a bit of a low pressure zone with the rain falling, and that allows expansion of the water even uh, still further. As we see the water sloshing over behind us, that's that's what we're going to see every single day, 2030, 2040, 2050, depending on how climate change and sea level rise go. When you add the king tide and the El Nino uh, and, the, and the storm surge effects together, we can start to see the kind of sea level rise or the kind of sea levels that we're going to see on a permanent basis by the end of the century. We might see five or six feet of sea level rise. And that's, that's water up at about this level. When the sea level does rise, it's going to swallow more than some sidewalk. Both San Francisco's and Oakland's airports are in the flood zone. So are the headquarters for Google, Facebook, and hundreds of other tech companies. And of course, California isn't the only place threatened by rising sea levels. Practically anywhere with a shoreline is at risk. Engineers are working on ways to protect homes, businesses, and infrastructure. But with around 40% of the U.S. population living in coastal communities, they have their work cut out for them. Want to get a glimpse of the future? Head to the shore nearest to you on January 21st or 22nd.